Hi guys, thanks again for joining me. For those of you who are just tuning in, I'm Anne, and in this video I'm going to be giving a general love reading focusing on divine partners and that includes soulmates, twin flames, twin rays, karmic connections and all um, spiritual love relationships that um, pertain to you or that someone you're searching for. So. Um, Stay and watch. Sometimes there's a message that'll come out to you. Take what resonates with you and just leave what doesn't. Okay. So I'm really excited. I'm outside. As you guys can see, I've been wanting to come out here, but you know, it seems like the weather is not cooperating for many of us. I know this, but I'm excited and I'm, I give gratitude that we have such wonderful weather today. Okay. So um, the first card that came up in the Divine Masculine is the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? As you can see, Okay, and what basically the Divine Masculine is talking about, um, something is going on with the, with the Divine Masculine, something is crumbling, what are you clinging on to? Divine Masculines have a lot of power inside them, they're trying to figure it out, they're trying to figure out what it is, but the crumbling is something that they're clinging on to, something that they need to release. Now, we've been seeing this in the previous videos that Divine Masculines go through this cycle where they automatically start taking a step forward, but then they take like three or four back. And you know, it can happen even with divine feminines. It's not just necessarily that divine masculines are afraid. It's been going on a lot with the divine masculines, finally seeing something, finally seeing something that they can um, understand and stop clinging on to it because they're starting to ask themselves. They have the power. This card is a very beautiful card, full moon power. And you know what? Full moon power means that they can do this. You know, the divine masculines don't understand where they're supposed to be at with everything because they've been kind of like sheltered in a corner because they've been afraid. Um, they've been a, they've been blocking themselves. They've been pushing away anything that occurs in a positive way. It's kind of like they self sabotage. Divine masculines have been doing this for the last few. I would say the last few months we've been seeing this. They they come out. But then there's also something that draws them right back in, which is not the way it's supposed to be. Um, something is triggering them, something is bringing them out in a sense that they are starting to realize. Now, unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So here we see something like of a breakthrough coming through. Um, releasing soul patterns and contracts, past lives, that's, that's a purge. That's basically letting go and releasing. They can't see clearly until they completely have released what has been troubling them. The growth that they have to do in their lives is basically something where they are finally opening up to what their true heart is telling them. And their true heart knows that this is, this is the right way to be. Um, divine masculines are going through a pattern and we've been seeing a lot of patterns going on with the Divine Masculines. It's not, it's not that it's something that they're going to remain in, but remember, Divine Masculines see their other side. They see the Divine Feminine. They know that there's a certain balance there, there's a cer certain something that needs to bring them out. We can't bring them out when they live inside of us. The Divine Masculines is not necessarily meant for the masculine partner or the, 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 the that fe female that is influenced by the masculine partner. Actually, it's about ourselves. So what I'm talking about is not necessarily just for the divine masculines, because divine feminines have been going through a lot of purging too. That's been going on over several months um, that we've been seeing like a little bit of a a little bit of a shift with the divine feminines. But I'll get to that later. Now, the growth that they're going through right now, the growth that they're seeing as this tree um, is gathering roots. They're gathering something, they're gathering something inside themselves. By releasing those soul, that old pattern, that um, excess baggage, we all carry it, but the divine masculine seem to be like, I don't want to, I, I don't want to feel happy in my life. You ask yourself, why? Why don't I want to feel happy? Why don't I want to feel good about myself? A lot of, a lot of divine masculine energies right now, not that I'm saying this is a good thing or a bad thing, so please don't get it the wrong way. Um, and I'm afraid these cards are going to fly away, so I'm just going to keep my hands on them. And I don't have to chase them. Um, divine Masculines have been releasing a lot, but at the same time, they're not focusing on what they should be focusing on, and that's a lot of self-care. Kind of like neglecting 
um, something inside of them. Now, maybe it's not you, maybe it's that person, maybe that person, your partner, is not you're noticing like a, a certain change with them that they're not they're not really um, tending to the to the um, maintenance of, of their day-to-day -day life that you've noticed before. Like something has been changing drastically. And I'm not saying that they're just leaving themselves go or they're they're neglecting their 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 basic health. No, it's something that they're doing that they don't realize that they're doing it. They don't realize that they're neglecting. This is why the love, okay, the love that they have from deep inside is not being expressed. It's not being opened. And this has been going on for a while. You can't find somebody in your life to be completely positive to bring you up. It's like you have to find that positive inside yourself. When you're going through like a, like a I'll give an example, a difficult breakup and that person has been not the person that you thought that they were and the breakup happened a while ago but though you believe, you know that this is not the way it's supposed to be. When re breakups happen, um, yeah, of course we don't like the breakups. I apologize for that. <laughs> um, but breakups happen because there's a specific reason behind all of it. Now, many times it's just a quarrel. It's just a spat and they'll, they'll get back together. Or it can be that it's time to let go of that person and it's time to call it quits. That's when the relationship has ended completely and you'll know that it's done. You'll know that it's over with. It's never good to just keep forcing something inside you to be with someone because you're codependent or you're feeling like you don't want to be alone. So you've been with that person for so long that you've gotten used to it that you can't see yourself going into a, like another relationship because you're just so used to. You're in your comfort zone. You like where you're at. Divine masculines have been too comfortable and divine masculines need to start moving. Release the soul patterns. That's what I'm talking about. Releasing all of that, that, that energy that keeps them like locked up in a place where they, they're not happy with themselves. Divine feminines, mirror. Who or what is triggering you? There's something triggering the divine feminines. Something that they don't understand, but they do understand one thing. They're not content in their current so, sort of like surrounding, so they want to change it. And this is a card right beneath it, self-reflection. Interesting, very interesting, because these cards exactly represent the same thing almost. Self-reflection, they're both mirrors actually. Oh, I just noticed that. Yeah, as you can see, I'm gonna show it to both of them together. Hope you can see that. Very pretty, very nice. But as they are, self-reflecting something inside of them they know that whatever it is they have to do they, ha they have to look at what they've been doing for the past um, a few months or a few years it's kind of like let go release um, that same releasing and purging energies that divine masculines have went through have been seeing um, it's not easy I know we went through it a lot in May um, it was a very, it was a very challenging month for a lot of us um, because of whatever it was, what the energies in May, that we got through it. But now it seems like it's all starting to build up again. And it's like, oh no, it's coming back. No, it's not. It's coming back if you allow it to dominate you. Okay. That's why it's all about reflecting on yourself, reflecting on who you truly are and what you truly want with all of this. Because if you're going backwards, like we talked about like a, a breakup. Now, I only use it as an example. I am not trying to tell anybody what to do. Trust me, this is all coming from the divine. It's not coming from me. So the messages are, like I said, are given to me to give to you, okay? Um, that mirror that, that you're looking at, maybe that mirror is telling you, I need to do something with my life more productively. And I don't mean get another job. I mean, if that's what suits you. But I'm talking about doing something more for yourself, being more out there, being, being the person you want to be because sometimes you don't feel complete. And this is a day-to-day -day process, guys, because I go through it too. It's like every day we have, to, we, have to, we have to put that effort, that extra energy. I know it's like it's getting harder. And, it's get, and if you keep on saying it's getting harder, it does get harder. But actually, it's the same thing as it was yesterday, the day before. Every day is actually the same. It was the same when you were 
like 15 years old than if you're like 85. So every day gets harder. Yeah, we get older, obviously, and our bodies don't react the way they did when they were 15, but we tend to find ourselves in the same pattern that we need to release. So like I was saying, the mirror image of who you are, you're looking at it and you're saying, that's not who I like to see. And I'm not talking about looking at your mirror and your physical appearance. I'm talking about just looking at your overall inner self, in, inner, inner strength that you have that you've been trying to get through this, but you seem to be defeated because of something that you're not sharing, and that's share your voice. Come out of the cave. Perse persecution, expression. So, guys, it's, it's really important, as you can see. Let me try to put that in closer. This card is very important to share your voice. It's telling you, the message is share your voice, bring out that, that part of you that is being held back. Maybe you're afraid, okay? Here's another card, represents the same exact thing almost. Well, it goes along with it, not exactly the same card, okay? But the fear is what prevents us, prevents the divine feminines from sharing their voice. I know, that sounds like, like how do I share my voice if I'm so afraid? You just do. Um, stop saying you can't. Stop saying the words I won't or how do I do this? You just do it. I'm not saying to blurge out something and say something to someone in, in a, you know, kind of like a high-pitched way where you're, you're expressing anger, but maybe this person that you're involved in, maybe this person that you're, you're, you're waiting for or someone that you're, you're, you're um, talking to but you're not really expressing how you truly feel because you're afraid. Um, I know, like everybody has their own situation, but this is something to think about. The message is clear. Fear is what prevents us from taking the step forward to share your voice. And maybe it's something to do with what, where you're at currently, maybe your occupation, maybe something that you, you're not expressing in your workplace, because it goes hand in hand. If you're not expressing your voice, okay, um, not just in a necessarily in a relationship, but in every aspect, because remember, if you're stuck once one area, you're going to be stuck in all the other areas. Seriously. Um, I see this pattern. That, like That's why we talk about divine masculines need to release that pattern. They need to stop looking at things and, and they have to understand why their things are just crumbling. Why are things so, um, so, so like they, they like feeling like they're overwhelmed all the time, that they can't move forward that they can't do all of these things. What is causing this? It's not, it's not you, it's fear, yeah. It's fear from looking at who you truly are because maybe you're not looking at the true person inside of you. Sometimes we're like, we go through certain things in our life and yeah, this person is not listening to you because you're not sharing your voice. Maybe in your work area, maybe you're not telling somebody I can't do this. You have to. You have to stop treating me like this. Share your voice. I'm just giving an example. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's a raise you need, and you need to talk to your your supervisor, your boss, just to talk about like maybe renegotiate things. It's all about sharing your voice. Whatever is in your heart, whatever you feel, and do it with love. Remember, whenever you have to share your voice, if you have to share it with anger, it's not a good time to share your voice. Only for the fact because we get worked up, and I get. I get worked up too when I give these messages. It's like, okay, okay, there's a message out here, and I just feel like I'm so excited. Like I want to tell you directly, and that's what I'm doing in this in this reading video. And someone else might say, why is she getting so so worked up? It's because the message is coming through this way, and it's it's something for you to hear. Maybe it's not resonating. Maybe it is. But whatever the case is, this is for the collective, guys. This is for whoever is on this this video. Like I said before, this is a reading for you and. This is why taking some of the messages that are being given to you, take them down in notes. I like to take down in notes because I find that I resonate with them maybe not right then and there. I don't get it right then and there, but I hear something. I hear something and I hear it's calling me. And that goes for all messages, all messages that are coming through because we're all equal. When you pull back so much, when you're pulling back so much of you, you tend to change into a different type of person. Maybe you've blossomed, maybe you're a better person today, or maybe 
you've neglected yourself. Like I talked about neglecting yourself. When you don't, when you don't do the things that make you happy, and that's raising your vibration. And like I've given so many examples on how to raise the vibration. Sometimes raising the vibration doesn't necessarily mean, um, you know, going out there and just jumping up and saying I'm so happy and I'm just so so overjoyed. The sun is out. It's so beautiful. I I can do that. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's something with with doing like maybe more solitude, going back and, you know, just going back to nature or going back to the water or just doing something, visiting a friend, visiting, visiting family, people that make you feel good. That's what raising your vibration is. Because if you're not, if you're not doing all the things that I just mentioned in, in the cards, um, the messages that are coming through, it's obviously because you can't see what the message is, is clear enough to tell you because you're clouded. The fear is what brings the divine feminines into a place where they're sheltered. Divine masculines, they need to, they're, they're growing, they're letting go, they're releasing. This is coming to a time where everybody is different, but it's coming to a time where we don't want to be alone anymore. And we want to find peace with inside ourselves, first of all, but being with someone. So remember, if you're, if you're battling something inside yourself, obviously you're going to be battling something with a relationship. Remember, it's all, it goes into like every aspect of your life. If your life seems to be the same pattern, you know, you do the same thing every day, your relationship seems to be the same relationship, and maybe you've been involved with several different types of relationships that were, that were kind of like very similar, um, that does happen. And you know what? It's because it's a message, it's a lesson, and you're not getting it. Yeah, seriously. We're sent different people. Sometimes we see that person as somebody that is like a, a partner, a divine partner, but then we find out, no, that wasn't my divine partner. I just met someone that actually gave me the feeling that they were my divine partner. And then it goes on like that. Never look at everybody as, oh, this is going to be the one. Because when you do that, you prevent the life lessons that you need to learn today. Now, I'm not saying that you have to be old and and gray and you know nothing wrong with being gray we're all getting gray some of us um, but being older I want to say um, that that's when you meet your divine partner mm -mm. you can meet your divine partner uh, you're 10 years old okay it's like it can happen at any time but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be involved with that person at 10 years old so, okay let me rephrase that so you're you're actually growing because every day is a challenge and every day we're sent different people so as you got older You've learned that people came into my life. People I've, I've come to know and I thought that they were people who were beneficial to me, that we were going to go into a long-term relationship and it, and it ended. Why? Why did I go through that? What type of connection was this? Never question it. Never question to what your destiny has for you because there is something out there better for you. Remember, when we meet different people and it, and it ends and it's closure and we have to just find that closure, whatever that it was in the past, and then we move on and we find someone else that gives us the exact same, you know, spark. That's good, that's, that's great. Because you've met your, like it could be a soul contract, we get them too, soul contracts enter in our lives, different types of soulmates. Sometimes the soulmates are not necessarily long-term, but they're there to show you and you're, maybe you're there to show them as well. So it kind of like goes back and forth. We both, you know, like we, we meet different people for that specific purpose, kind of like preparing us for the divine partner. A lot of times we meet the divine partner and, and it's divine timing how we met them. But it's not the divine time for us to be together with that person. Maybe that person is involved in a situation. Maybe you're involved in a situation. Maybe you both are. However the situation is, it's not the time and place. And it's not something that you focus on. But you do something to make yourself feel good about things. That you meet somebody that you can actually feel connected to. Connected to that maybe this is where my destiny lies. Nobody can tell us what to do. Nobody can tell you what to do. But you have to just go with what your, what your intuition is telling you, what your, what your guides are telling you, the messages you're getting to make yourself happy, okay? Um, I just wanted to clarify that because I get a lot of questions about what to do. And you know what, if I can give you that, I would. And I apologize for the helicopter. Like I always said, I live across the street from a hospital and we have a trauma center. So um, I apologize ahead of time if it comes back. But no, you're definitely 
focusing on in the right path. You want, you want that beautiful, energetic, divine relationship, okay, filled with all the bliss. And, and we all want that. But you can't have that every relationship. You know, we can have the spark, we can have the infatuation. That's the fun part about dating. That's the fun part about being with people. But also, you know, sometimes it's, it's, it's distracting because it seems like it's just going on forever. Don't give up. Don't give up. This is a time um, to really share what you feel in your heart to that special someone or get out there. Maybe it's time for you to to reach out to that person. Um, like I said, these messages are coming through in a, in a sense that you need to take what, what, what is being given to you. Because I'm giving the, the messages um, through the cards. The cards may not say what I'm saying, but I'm feeling some direct messages to some, someone out there. Um, but never, never second guess yourself. You are worthy, you are amazing. Remember, if you don't think too much of yourself, if you don't think highly of yourself, and you should, you really should, you're not attracting the kind of light that is shining around you. You know, you want to attract love. So when you're like happy, and I mean, I'm not saying to fake it, you know, to, to, be, to be loved, but really try to pour out the loving energy that's inside your heart, because you have it. If you can go back and think about love, okay, now I'm not trying to give everybody a lesson on how to love themselves. I'm sure you know how to. Um, but loving yourself and, and giving yourself everything you can from, from within, from within, and you will find so much peace when it comes to being in a relationship because you're content. I'm, I'm worthy. I don't need to doubt myself. I don't need to doubt this person. Whatever is meant to be, so be it. You know, having a humble heart within a relationship is the ideal way to be, okay? So um, lots of intense messages came through. I just felt them. I just was, you know, like revealing whatever was coming through um, and not, not thinking about it, but pretty much just relaying it all to you guys. Um, what you're clinging on to, remember Divine Masculine, what you're clinging on to, it's time to just let it go. You're releasing those old patterns so you can grow. The spiritual energy is growth, okay? Divine Feminines, you too, are being triggered. There is something that's being triggered inside of you so that you can see what's inside of you. That self-reflection, that self-reflection of the mirror of who you truly are, but it's time for the time to be yourself. That's where you're at, that's what you're seeing. Self-reflection, come out, come out of the cave, you know, come out, be, be the person you are, be outside, it's so beautiful. And stop letting fear bring you down because fear can have a big factor on when we want to do things in our life to make us happy. Um, we prevent ourselves from being who we truly are, okay? So um, I hope this reading video resonated with you. There was a lot of, like I said, important messages that I got as well. Um, if you'd like to get your own personalized reading, I do offer phone chat and email readings. Um, the links are down um, in the description area and um, also check out my blog articles. I've been writing a little bit more, so I'll be posting soon. Um, and they also pertain about soulmates and twin flames, so it might help you to understand what you're going through, your situation. Um, if you have a question, please sh um, shoot me a line down in the comments area. I'd love to hear from you guys. It's been a wonderful journey with you guys. I can't say enough how much I love you all for sharing, subscribing, um, just reaching out to me throughout everything that I've been through from the beginning of the year. It's just, um, it's wonderful. I love you guys. I, I, I won't stop saying it because I just do. Um, but you guys are wonderful and you're amazing and um, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm just happy. You know, if we're not connected on social media, I hope we can. The links are also down in the description area. Um, so I like to, you know, interact with um, whoever's watching if, if, it's, if it's possible. Okay, so until next time, God be with you all. Namaste.